Hi everyone, we are going to make a emphasized word like um, in the form of the grammar or poetry term automatopoeia, which means it's a big word that means a forming a word from a sound and one of the most popular sounds is pop and splat and um, bleep blorp uh, and uh, decorate it in the primary colors or any of the colors that you want and also you get to use bubble letters so just like with the stick figure um, if you don't know bubble letters or you don't know how to use bubble letters uh, the the uh, letters have a bubble around it and so if you wanted to make an um, an a uh, I would take um, a bubble or curved line and I would draw around it and draw another bubble inside and then erase um, the stick formation of your of your letter and the same goes for um, B if you want to make a, a B you would um, draw a bubble around your B along with a um, two circles, little bubbles. You can also make a um, squared bubble letter by drawing a line at the end and then going around like a bubble and then another line to make a square shaped um, bubble letter and so forth. Um, even if you wanted to make, most of the time the onomatopoeia is capitalized, but if you want to make a, um, a lowercase bubble letter, you would um, draw the letter and then I'm going to um, draw a bubble around that to make um, a lowercase d. Uh, so if you want to draw some type of uh, word, and I like using pop, um, you would draw the stick letters like this. An exclamation point. And then I'm going to draw around my first letter And then I'm going to draw around the second letter and it's okay if they overlap. And then my third letter, which is going behind the O. And if you'd like, I'm, you know, drawing light, you um, take the eraser and so you'll have an easier time um, erasing those, um, the light skeletal portion of your the um, to make the form of your of, of your bubble letters um, you can take those away and then finally I'm doing the exclamation point right here so the so how are we going to emphasize this so on your paper you have um, and this can be plain you would um, have one color um, for your word and then another color for your uh, the action part that you're emphasizing your word. I'm using a zigzag line and then the finally the background which would be another color. Um, so how if you get a hold which I have this bubble paper um, and I'll link it to the class materials files um, in every grade. Um, you could print this out or you can make your own um, bubble paper or you can use um, bubble wrap um, to paint on um, to make your uh, cartoon word, automatopoeia word. So if you have the, the bubble paper that um, you can download and print, you would um, take the word that you choose, 
So let's do splat. I'm going to lightly draw in capitals the word splat. Exclamation point. You just draw right on that bubble paper. Then I'm going to draw around my lightly drawn letters the bubble. Curved, or you can do um, the squared. And it is okay to overlap. It's okay if your curve lines go over the other letter. I'm going to just continue to draw uh, the bubble letters and it's okay if they touch, it's okay if you want to spread the um, letters out. And I left the exclamation point here. Now if you want, you can erase the inside of your letter if you want you can keep it there because it'll be colored in and you or you can erase it later and um, once that is um, done um, or if you left it there um, you can do the other parts of the emphasized word and this time I'm going to do um, curve lines like an upside down U and M and I can have it go off the page so now we have three parts to our word automatopoeia emphasized word we have the letters we have inside the bubble and we have outside the bubble. And what I would do first is I would take a crayon, a permanent marker, or um, you know, something that's dark and um, go over the letters. You can do this in the beginning or you can do this at the very end. but you will need to have an outline of the lines that you drew, the lines in pencil. The rest is up to you. You can color in the solid or you can use um, the bubbles um, of the paper. The outline is part of the emphasis of your word. Yeah, yes, no. Emphasize and that you can see it. So now yeah, you can draw any color you want. I'm going to um, take a marker or you can take a crayon and um, go inside every bubble and I'm using the side of my marker to um, color in inside and this will take time using the side of the marker not um, pressing down too hard but I'm coloring in one color one color for my um, word and then I'm going to go back and do another color why don't I do um, blue it's going to go outside going to go on the outside of my paper. 
And also remember you can do a um, graph paper also can um, be your bubble paper too. Um, that'll help as well, the graph paper. You would just color in every other square, like pixels. So basically the bubbles that are mostly in, um, you color it with that color. Like this color could probably be red, but you're um, coloring in whatever is in that space. And then for the last part, I'm going to draw on the outside of your paper, yellow. And even if you don't want to use marker, you don't have marker, you can use the crayon. So you're just doing the outside of your thought bubble. It's up to you if you want to just color in everything, you can do that. Um, you don't have to use the bubble letters. You can take, if this is taking too much time for you, you can always um, take the uh, crayon or your color pencil and um, color in the, um, the letters like this. And you color them carefully giving you guys options. And again, you can just use the plain paper. You do not have to use the bubble paper. You can create the bubbles yourself by um, coloring in a dot where you want that dot to be. Artist's work is never done and never finished. And you can see I can always go back and um, color in or make my own dots to make it a little bit more, give it some more oomph. It's another word for onomatopoeia, zhuzh it up. glow it up. So again, if you, um, it doesn't have to be a solid color, you can always go back and color in where you left off um, to make it more visually pleasing and grab people's attention. So this is an exercise in emphasis and the word automatopoeia which some of you 
must have learned when you were reading poetry or any of the novels. They're fun. Reading and drawing. Anyway, that is my emphasis of a word and uh, using pop art and um, primary colors. I hope you'll enjoy this lesson and I'll look forward to seeing you again.